out. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, this here could he work, is. But if this does not work, it's a really, really terrifying position for CJ. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, we're not saying that Hero is not favored against TY. I think all three of us would agree that he is. Sure. Yeah. I mean, he is a very strong player versus Terrence. 12 it's and just, 2. Yeah. It's just that it is risky at this point in this matchup of a best of seven to send him out as the second player to come It's out. a risky biscuit, and you know what? He's got to do damage. He's got to at least get a couple of wins under his belt, which is not going to be easy at all. Yeah, and if he wins this and then loses to like a PvP versus S or something after this, uh, it's like, uh-oh, that wasn't good enough. And he's had trouble against KT Terrence in the past, specifically Flash. And I think Flash is a step lower than TY in a lot of cases. TY went to distance and defeated Zest recently as well, mind you. That's a scary thing to know. That's a scary thing to think about going into this. Yep. TY has been on fire recently. There's no denying that. Even going down to Biel is, is not that bad in the best of seven. Other Terrans have done the same. So, I mean, this guy is uh, quite a strong parlay player as well. I think we're in for a very strong match. Couldn't agree more. I hope Hero shows us something really good, or I think Coach Park is going to regret this one. Yep. Well, it's going to be closed here. Game number two on Coda between Hero and TY. Let's go into it right now. Down here in the bottom right, in the yellow from CJ Entis, the Protoss player, he is Hero. And up to the top left in red, it's TY. His best performances ever recently in Star League. Whoa, that handwriting though. It says KT doesn't have a finals, CJ does. I'm like, that's just not true. Like, <laughs> KT won the finals last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. They um, won the final finals. Yeah. Although this is a different season. This so. is the first time um, that KT, well, I mean, if KT wins this, it'll be the first time I went to a round finals this season. Though. Yeah, yeah, that is a big point. They certainly haven't performed this year like they did last. Mm. I think that must be what he means. I guess. Well, looking at this game, Ooh. I feel like we are going to see a very greedy sort of style from TY to start things off, much like Flash would. And from here, I'm scared because if he's going to do his normal sort of three base shenanigans where he gets up to like heavily upgraded gateway units and Colossus, he could just get steamrolled like Flash likes to do to him. Well, he, he dropped a 10 gate, which is yeah. a bit uncharacteristic. So I'm already kind of liking this. He's doing something a little bit different to start things off. Maybe that he's, you know, read into these KT Terrans and he knows they like to get greedy. I mean, we're already seeing a CC first here from TY. Uh, Koda is a two-player map, but it's a pretty big one. Takes a while to get all the way across the map. And uh, what do you guys think is going to come out from this 10 gate? Mm, I think Stargate. I think Proxy Stargate. Proxy Stargate. I was thinking either that or potentially Mothership Core uh, Stalker pressure um, just at the front into, you know, securing a faster gate or base rather. Quick core here. No second gas yet. We'll see once he has that 75 minerals if you want to drop it down immediately. And uh, that's obviously going to be the most important thing here. It's going to be the big tell. Only oh, puts a pylon. a pylon down at the naturals, so not going to be proxy just yet. And with that placement, he's trying to wall against Hellions, it looks like. I feel like this is... Um, I don't think this is going to be a proxy target, as it turns out. Yeah, it doesn't seem that way. It's like you just deciding to perhaps do what you said and get a quick stalker out, quick mothership core, and just go for that quick expand off some pressure. There it is, Chrono Boost on the Mothership Core. It's going to do some work there. I mean, Barrack's only halfway done, so it's going to get to the main base, do some good scouting, and maybe do a little bit of SCV damage. Three Barracks for TY. Very uncharacteristic of KT Terrence. Do this after a CC first. Safety first, man. This is, this is the most safest way you're going to get that CC first out and deal with any sort of early aggression. I do like it, but uh, there's still a potential for some real damage to happen before that can really come online. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hero's going to be happy to see the CC first. It's going to be a while before there's that many units out to deal with this Mothership Core, and he will get the full scout, of course. Going to get his Nexus now as well. All right, well, first Marine out there. He's going to need a few more if he wants to deal with this Mothership Core there, which is almost at the main base. 
So create some big problems there. That Stalker's going to be running across the map as well. Yeah, and he's not going to have a bunker, of course. I think he should be able to defend this just fine, but let's see how much you know he can actually do with these first three Marines. He needs to micro them well. Already on top of it. Look at this. Now microing away the weakened Marine. And this Mothership Corps already deflected. Its shield's gone. Not enough for a recall, so it really needs to get out of there. Stalker coming in there. It's going to be running into the natural. Let's see if he wants to go to the main base and start trading for hit points. A risky choice, but... Yeah, TY very smartly it. bringing back the SUVs too. He, he knows what's going on. Now he's going to try to use it to fight here against the Stalker. Oh. And he pulls it back. It's going to go down though, but the Stalker taking a lot of damage oh, that too. That was not worth it. Not for that much damage. 30, 33 HP left on it. So it's going to have a hard time even trading with Marines now. Twilight Council follow up. I feel like Hero is really. Uh, I don't want to say he's messing this up, but he's certainly not. The plan is not going according to plan. He's like, oh god, it's three barracks. This is not what he expected. I think he expected. A uh, greedy factory reactor follow up to this mm. with no units out, so he could do a lot more damage. Because that's how Ty, that's how Flash would normally play this. That's how Dream would play this follow up on this map. But it's it's different. He's really changing up. He's playing uncharacteristically, filling some of the holes in his play yeah, and playing safer than usual. Yeah, he's just not playing the the supreme greed, which is what they're used to. And I think this is a great sort of in a way mind game, but just a, a nice, well rounded play to play against Hero. Because if you get to that late game with this kind of greedy opening. You could really have some scary timings against him before he, he really comes online with those upgrades. Yeah, well, back on the base of here, he's going to go for Blink pretty quickly on the back of this. Also getting that robotics facility will have his observers out in time. Of course, uh, with the build 2 I did, not going to have those wood mines for a quite a long time. Just going to get out as much bio as possible right now. This third CC posturing worries me. Okay, he's just checking for pylons, actually. Um, my biggest concern going into this one for Hero, I know a lot of people probably watching are like, I can't believe Wolf is like just not giving Hero enough credit going to this. Why, why does Wolf think it's a bad pick? I worry that if he just wants to play a straight-up macro game and not do anything tricky and play super obvious, like he, he plays like this all the time. His, bl his icon is a blink icon in Star League for this reason because he always plays like this. He's so predictable. If TY just plays a little bit greedy and does it in a somewhat safe way and just wins in the late game, it's like, well, you just wasted one of your best players against somebody who's on fire right now. Yeah, on fire and, and naturally, stylistically going to do better against your best player. So you probably want to try to find another answer, but maybe there just isn't another answer against this player on this kind of map. So they're like, well, we're kind of forced to go him because Young can get that win. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's been the problem with CJ for such a long time. They really only had two players and Young to kind of go... Uh, a bit 50-50, maybe 55% win ratio, but uh, they've been struggling to find that fourth player for sure. Now, and, uh, uh, not to cut you off here, but I wonder if this pressure will actually reveal the Dark Shrine, because this is a very important moment here, because if he can hide that, the Warp Prism could do a lot. Well, he's going to find out in just a second. Stim, moments away from finishing, as well as combat shields. Forces out that photo overcharge, maybe not going to commit any further than that for the moment. Looks like he's just going to back off, but Stim is about to finish. Hero has to be very careful with only these stalkers here. Well, he does have the blink to just get back into his natural. Look at this turret. It's actually going to deter not only the observer, but it's going to make the DT harass a lot more difficult. He needs to have units in position, though, to defend this. Otherwise, he's just going to lose that turret. Yeah, look at that. War Prism going to be flying right <laughs> over that command center, though. So it's going to give away a lot. Gonna have a like, oh, you already in. have a third? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Missile turret goes down as well. And he's just waiting. I feel like, oh man, he's going to see this too. Hero is miles behind in this game. Oh, he's wow. going to lose this. No cancel! No cancel. But DT into the natural now, so the pressure is going to happen. And is there actually a scan? Doesn't look like it just yet. Oh, one in the third base. Just barely finishing up. up. Just barely. And now he's just going to add turrets. He's totally safe. And it, Hero's never taking a third base anytime soon. Even attacking to this is somewhat risky because he could get sandwiched between these two groups of bio. Yeah, he does realize that and back off for now. He's just trying to trade out and get himself back into this game with this blink. That is what he's known for. But this bio over here at the third base is going to prevent Hero from taking a third base for so long. Yeah, oh. such a denial. Already TY has the same worker count as Hero as a Terran with triple mules and triple saturation. Another warp, but this time with Zealots. Not going to find anything. The Vikings will deter the warp prism. And Hero is starting to get further and further behind. Yeah, he's running out of options here. He's going to be able to wipe out this army eventually. Interesting, a DT follow them as well as these Blink Stalkers. Just a little something's going to open up the map, giving him the ability to take that third finally, but uh, still a bad place to be right now. Still looking for that Warp Prism. There it is. Busted. 
Oh man, I um, let's talk about options here for Hero right now because a few options he has is trying to hit a time with this Colossi before there's enough Vikings. So there's, you already saw two Vikings, but he's like, oh, you have no Medivacs really either. Your Medivac counts low, so maybe I could hit a timing at your third to pressure you and get back into this. The other thing you can do is add a second forge and try to play super greedy and continue this DT harass. Gonna be tough to do. Even another missile turret. TY been adding missile turrets so much in this matchup. Even when he's attacking, he'll like push with turrets. Yeah. I think he, he it's kind of hard for here right now. He's just going to play on the defensive because he is behind an army. He's taking some big blows. His third base is so delayed. He's coming, kind of coming back into this with the constant DD harass and forcing out a lot of scans that didn't want to be done. Yeah. You're also known for this. Um, I remember a game he had on Echo versus MMA where he totally crushed him with just drops. So he's going to be continuously going for that. But TY shutting down the warp prism back towards his main was huge as well. It takes off so much pressure from the Terran when there's no warp prism flying around like a an annoying fly. Mm. It can do so much damage too if left unchecked. Like uh, four zealots into the mineral patch and you've, you've lost mining there. If you don't move the SCVs, you've lost all the SCVs. Oh, if TY overcommits here, um, Hero can almost catch him like a pop fly, if you will. I mean, if he, if he really commits into this choke point. I like how Hero continues to use these blink stalkers. Um, this time not actually the best control, but in general, he's really always poking at this army, always keeping it on the back foot, always kind of trying to baiting it into a, a bad engagement. Um, because TY obviously would like to kill this third base. is going to be a difficult thing to do. And he's got triple Viking production now. It's time to see a Templar Archive for Hero, but it's so hard for him to afford that right now. He's got so little gas, he doesn't have his third base gases up yet. Yeah, he's really just going for those double upgrades like he's, he generally likes to do. It's a scary thing, though. We're seeing actually a terrifying army from TY, and he's kind of looking for the kill right now. He's got enough Vikings to deal with these Colossus. Oh, man, if he, actually, if he forces those Colossi to walk up on the cliffs, the Vikings can just snipe them. Oh, Colossus popping out. He's not going to focus it down. There he goes, finally going for it, but a huge amount of units in the main and the Vikings. A huge control mistake. Hero is not playing at his level right now. This is game over. This is GG. Total annihilation here. Again, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it one more time. I think a huge mistake by Coach Park to try to send Hero out against TY. I think it is going to maybe potentially cost him so much momentum yeah. in this series. Well, yeah, he's certainly getting picked apart from here. Down 50 supply. Going to lose that third base as well. Trying Nothing to really focus it either. down here, but not going to be enough. Hero does push him back, but he's already lost so much in the main, losing the Nexus, all of his Colossi. An insanely good trade. Game ending trade right there. And all he's got to really do is rebuild the army, group it together, and go for a big attack. Losing that many Colossus, there's no real way for Hero to come back into this. And yeah, as you guys have been saying, they just lost their ace player in a, a pretty hard match. This is actually looking like all kill territory right now. So oh, I could certainly do it. Absolutely. Yeah. He's been looking so good over time, and even today, two fantastic games so far. And, uh, you know, that was the tatters of TY's army. He's got so much more coming across the map. Don't you worry. Yeah. Now, keep in mind the one thing that is missing for TY is the upgrades. Hero is going to have 2-1 in just a minute. And uh, if he cleaned up that whole army, he could definitely find his way back into this game. He is trying to take an engage here, uh, fighting into the line of sight blocker, though. Yeah, not the best trades here. You can just kind of wait, build his army together. He's making Wooden Mines now as well, but the Bio Army alone, if it's spread appropriately, should be able to take this apart. Wooden Mines are going to be fantastic against the high numbers of Zealots that have come out here. He's going to scan and see the Nexus only coming up now, knowing that there will be a big swell of units coming out of Hero, but it's just not going to be enough. Hero realizing that as well. He has to transition back. I think he needs to pool some gas here and get a Templar Archives. I'm so surprised he never, never added his gases um, at his third base because he's essentially mining on two gases for the last four or five minutes after he lost his main Nexus because he never added the gas at his third. It's almost like he was scared he was going to lose it, but he has no gas. He can't yeah. make anything but Zealots. Look at it, Look at the unit tab, 19 Zealots and two Colossi. And the, um, the tiny Blink Stalker force he's been trying to harass with this entire game. Well, that is the kind of the style he was going for as well. You know, he went for that empty third on the gas. He's going for the very heavy Colossus upgrade Zealot style and trying to steamroll what we were going to see from TY. And it has worked in the past sometimes, but TY just getting that snipe in the main base puts everything on hold. Look at this coming into the main. Three drops coming in, and there's not even any units here for Hero. With the Robo gone now and no Templar Archive, this is the beginning of the end here. There's another cancel on the Nexus, even trying to kill some of these Stalkers at this point. And he can just lift up and get away. 
Ooh, nice little blink here. Gonna snipe out one of the units, or one of the uh -oh. medevacs, rather. Colossus in the third. Snipe. Down he goes. He's got one Colossus left, and that's the last Colossus we're probably gonna see this game. Charge is nearing completion, but they're about to be on even upgrades with plus two getting very finished, uh, very close to being finished for TYO. He's gonna find this one. Bad rally. See you later. Oh, oh my goodness. That's the last thing he needs right now. That's like three Colossus number five in this game, guys. Yeah, that's uh, out of control now. Now it's pure gateway units. They have nice upgrades, but no charge on the Zealots, which is uh, kind of a big deal considering the style he went for. Yeah, he's almost got pure Zealots in this army. A few stalkers of support, but no charge. Widowmine's oh. helping out. A huge amount of damage. He's trying to fight his way through this. Some nice force fields there. Gonna clean up some of the bile for the zealots, but everything has been wiped out here from Hero. Yeah, even using Vikings to help. I mean, he had very little bile on the ground, to be honest. He had a lot of Vikings and medevacs that weren't, uh, you know, doing too much damage. Once he landed those, he was able to eventually push this back. No AoE damage. Well, down goes the third, finally, and, and nothing really left over for Hero at this point. Just staying in the game. For pride's sake, if anything, I'm trying to just accept that yeah. loss. GG, TY, think... taking game number two. Huge mistake to send Hero out, in my opinion, on this map versus TY right now. And it's going to be a long, hard road to fight back in going into the rest of this series if they're going to win it. That's why I was thinking maybe you try to find some other Terran to come out on this map because Zergs really don't like the map. Protosses can have trouble against Terran. I mean, we saw it there, that one cliff. It's so easy to just drop it in the main and get that entire Protoss army out of position, uh -huh. especially with the building placement and the natural from Hero. It took him so long to get back there, and his Colossi were just walking in the middle of the map. Yeah, and forgetting charge as well with that kind of army composition, you, you can't forget that. It's such, such an important part of your army when you're going for double upgrades, pure gateway with some Colossus. I want to go back to the third base as well. He saved it. He lost his main, never remade the gases there. I totally understand what you're saying, Moonlight, earlier about how he was going for a comp that doesn't have third base gases, but when you lose your main, you need to make those gases. You need that gas to actually get the, the, the continued upgrades out to rebuild it, make your Colossi. I would have personally liked to see Gil on this map instead a lot more, looking back at this, and now, now do they send Biel? Because this is starting to be, like you said, uh, all kill territory potentially. We're like on the verge. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's Echo, which yeah. is the first thing to note. Um, that's a hard thing to, to kind of think about. They could. Yeah. Do they really want to send it against TY though? Biel and TY have some recent history, and TY really went to 